Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, or source for figure and model updates every Wednesday and Friday. So today on the workbench, I'm going to be showing my progress on the Abrams turret. I'm only working on the turret at the moment because I have not yet received the workable track links by AFB Club. They're still in the mail. So this is the gunner's hatch, and you can see the components here. I'm going to have it opened because I... I really want to make the most out of this turret and have it fully crewed. So here is the periscope part and Tamiya has you cut out this lens from a, a solid sheet of plastic. It's actually quite standard, you just overlay the sheet itself over the instructions and they give you a perfect scale size shape for the different periscopes. Each one, each of the turrets, or the, uh, the... For the side bustle racks on the turret, there's a lot of mesh that you need to inlay into the, the racks themselves. And in my hand right now, I have some of the cut sections. The great thing about the Tamiya instructions, as you can see, is that they actually give you the, uh, the shapes and they're in perfect scale. So what I've shown here is how I tape down and made secure the provided strip of the mesh and then you just take be sure to replace your exacto blade or your scalpel whatever you're going to do and then just take a straight edge cut away at it i was trying to think how i was going to do this and it turned out to be far simpler i was almost overthinking it but uh it turned out quite well and we'll be taking a look at the bustle racks once they're together so here is my method for undercoating all of the stowage that's going in the bustle racks and on the top of the turret. We have kit from the Tamiya box itself, some hobby fan stuff, the interceptor, and this pack with all the molly strips on it. Live resin, 7.62 tins, I believe those are. Yeah. And the rest of it is from the Legend M1 Abrams stowage set, which is actually a really versatile kit, even if you're not doing anything on an Abrams. There's a lot of great stuff there for OEF, OIF vehicles and stuff like that. It's really quite useful. So all this stuff is getting undercoated, and then it's going to be dry fit onto the turret. Now, the turret in its state doesn't have any stowage on it, but it's essentially done aside from the two sub-assemblies, which I have decided to leave off until the very last minute because there's a lot of masking that's going to go into them, and there's a, just a whole lot of fine detail that's going to have to go into those copulas, and I didn't want to have to work, especially in this groove here, to work on both sides of it without being able to get full access to the parts. The reactive armor started to go on. This kit has gone together like an absolute dream. I wasn't worried about assembling a Tamiya kit, and it's definitely not let me down. The quality of this is just absolutely stunning. So if anybody out there is even remotely interested in starting a current, sort of like a contemporary modern vehicle kit, I can highly recommend this one. This is the Abrams M1A2 SCP Tusk 2 variant. That's quite a moniker. Anyway. Yeah, it's it's just a lot of fun. So, thanks very much for watching. Check us out at highcaliberminiatures.com. Put the link in the description below, as always. Check us out on all the usual social media stuff, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter. And thanks again to all the people who've subscribed to us on YouTube and who leave comments or send me personal messages to talk about the stuff that they're working on. Even though we are a retailer, Ellen and I are both personally modelers and so we do like to hear about what the community is working on what people are doing get uh, sort of enthused hearing about other people's creativity and their endeavors in the uh, sort of the modeling world thanks very much for watching and i will see you next time